Alright guys, this is Mitch from the Blue Tutorials and in this tutorial tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to make a text to speak program. Uh, it's very easy and it uses little coding but it's quite fun. So yeah, let's get into it. You can either do this on Visual Basic 2008 or Visual Studio. I'm going to be using Visual Studio but it's basically the same. What we're going to end up making is something a little like this. So a program like this which you can type in like hello and then click click listen and there you go it just says hello. hello. So firstly what you're going to want to do is open up Visual Studio or Visual Basics. Create a new project, Windows Form Application and just name it what you want. I'm going to just call it voice. Click OK. Now up will come your form, so this is basically exactly the same as Visual Basics. So firstly we're going to click on the form and change it to text to voice, like that. And then we're just going to put it to whichever size you like, mine's going to be like this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add, add a button. Like that. I'm going to do a button. Like that. Click on that. And then I'm going to just call that capitals S P E A K exclamation mark exclamation mark. There we go. Now you're going to want to add in a rich text box. There we go. Do this to whichever size you like. Do mine like that. And there you go, you don't actually need to do any more. So what you're going to want to do is double click on speak and go here. Now you're going to want to type in, you can either type this in as I go or there will be a pasted version in the description. But it, all it is, it's not hard, it's dim space sappy I'm sorry, let me go back sappy in capitals like that enter sappy space equals space create object open the parentheses Add in a speech mark, sappy, this one doesn't have to be in capitals, sappy dot sp voice, and close the parentheses, enter, sappy in capitals, dot speak open the parentheses and then just type in rich text box one dot text close the parentheses and there we go now you can edit this form to what you like but just to show you that it works I'm going to debug it here we go. I'm just going to put here now wasn't that easy. As you can see, now wasn't that easy. Now it wasn't that easy. So, yeah, guys, very basic tutorial this. And my next tutorial will be how to export. Uh, your program to make it look professional. Alright guys, subscribe and like the videos. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye.